Hi, I'm going to tell you a story. It's about binomial distribution, a statistical technique, and how it changed my life. Life is a game of chance. We live in a world full of probability. We dream for a future that may or may not happen. Many events of our life have only two possibilities, like yes or no, head and tail, pass and fail. When such events recur, we get binomially distributed results. What is binomial distribution actually? Binomial distribution is a very important statistical tool that describes the probability of binomial events. When an event that can have only two outcomes is repeated number of times, we get results that follow a certain pattern or combination. For example, we may get a combination of all success, all failure, 50% success, 50% failure, and so on. Number of times a particular combination occurred is its frequency. The frequency of a particular combination will vary with the number of repeats. In statistical jargon, we say results are binomially distributed. Binomial distribution is an immensely important statistical concept. It can be used to calculate probability which helps in decision making and it has helped me a lot. See, I am a working woman and I must report for duty on or before 9.45 in the morning. There is a biometric device at the gate that records our attendance on true criteria, on time and late. We have only two options. Sadly, often I can't make it on time. This is the route I normally follow. See, from home to my workplace, the 11 kilometer distance, I have got six signals and each one delaying me more than five minutes. It's not that I don't try, but sometimes I miss the bus by fraction of seconds. Somehow, I had come to accept it as my destiny, my karma from previous birth. Then came the day I received a letter from the HR department. It asked me to be punctual in no uncertain terms. I knew blaming it on my karma won't solve the matter. I had to do something. So I started calculating my chance of being punctual using a statistical method. The machine recorded our attendance binomially. There are some assumptions in binomial distribution and I matched my situation with those assumptions. The first one is data must be binomial. In my case, the two options were on time and late. In textbooks, P denotes success and Q failure. I defined my being on time as P and late as failure. The two options always add to 1, so P and Q is equal to 1. The possibilities should be mutually exclusive. I saw if I am on time I cannot be late, so that is mutually exclusive. Each outcome is independent. My being on time today won't affect my reporting time tomorrow. So that is independence. This one also matched. So ultimately the chosen formula was P plus Q to the power N. Denoting P as on time, Q as late and N the number of days. Here I had to think a bit. The HR said I have to be punctual on all days. but. For my convenience, I wanted to see if I can make it for few days initially. We have odd Saturdays off. There is alternate five-day weeks. I chose one such week. My end was five. 
and finally I made my own formula P plus Q to the power N. So this is the formula P plus Q to the power N. Next came the question of choosing a value for P and Q. Looking back in my work diary I saw I'm usually late by six days a month. As a working days is 24 in a month, my failure rate was calculated to be 6 over 24 is equal to 0.25. Plugging this value into the P plus Q is equal to 1, I got the value of P. So P was 0.75. For 5 days a week, I had 5 attempts, my N was 5. In the binomial equation, if the power is n, we have a total of n plus 1 terms. It can be treated as a combinatorics problem of picking x goods from a bucket of n. In my case, choosing 5 successes from a bucket of 5 attempts. This is the expanded equation. On the right, we have 6 terms. Each term expresses a particular combination or possibility. See, in each term there are two parts. First part is coefficient and the second is a combination of P and Q. The total number of combinations possible in binomially distributed results can be obtained by adding all these co coefficients. So adding these coefficients, 5 choose 0, 5 choose 1, 5 choose 2, 5 choose 3, 5 choose 4, 5 choose 5, we get a total value of 32. And you know it's a binomial event. So if it happens 5 times, we'll get 2 to the power 5, that is 32 events. Anyway, we are looking for a combination that has no failure in it. Since Q represents failure, the term should have a Q with power 0. So this is our term, 5 choose 0, P to the power 5, Q to the power 0. The term 5 choose 0 can be written as 5 factorial over 5 minus 0 factorial over 0 factorial. By definition, 0 factorial is 1. 5 minus 0 is 5 factorial and on the numerator also we have 5 factorial. They cancel each other and we get a value 1. The term showing 0 failure is 5 choose 0 p to the power 5 q to the power 0. Plugging the value of p as 0.75 we get something that has 0.75 multiplied 5 times. The final answer is 0.237. It indicates my chance of being on time even for a single week is at the most 24%. And if I try for 24 days, the 0.75 will be repeated 24 times, giving me a probability of 0.001 success. This answer made my decision. I knew I cannot continue with this job. I'm looking for a new one with a bit of flexibility. The main points. Each term of the expanded binomial equation indicates a particular combination and coefficient of that term indicates its frequency. Another important point to note is that the value of P and Q is to be assessed from experience or history. Whereas the probability of a certain event depends on two parameters. One, binomial coefficient of the desired term and second, the value of P. Thank you.